Hello, 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 hello. It's all about Ghanaian languages. It's all about Ghanaian languages. It's all about Ghanaian languages. Hello, 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 hello. 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 Hello, 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 so yeah, Dangwe. Dangwe is mostly spoken to the east of the Greater Accra region as well as um, parts of the eastern region. Whereas Ga is spoken to the west of the Ga of the Greater Accra region. Yeah. Ga and Dangwe are closely related languages. Although they are separate languages, they are closely related. And if you are a Ga learner, learning Dangwe will come relatively easier to you. But there are some few minor tricks because no that is a language on its own. That's a language on its own. Okay. So they've separated over a period of time. So because of that there'll be some minor twists here and there. So without much time we waste let's just begin. Let's take our first word. So our first word, how do you say come in Dangwe? So come is Moba, moba, moba. Now, interestingly, Dangwe is in dialect, so some, so generally it is moba, but some dialect will also say ba, just as it's said in Dan. So you can comfortably say moba or ba. Just choose the one you feel to use. Well, personally, I say ba. I don't really say moba. Personally, I. Say Personally, I speak the clue dialect. So we say ba in clue. But then you can still say mo ba, and it's perfect. So now, how do you say here in Dangbe? That is here. 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 here oh. Now you ask yourself, why is it so? Is it because in Bubla, okay, they say here as here. Here. So maybe come here, don't say mo ba here. Moba here, that's in Bubula. But then the other dialects, those say Moba here, Moba here. So you get it. Bubula, otherwise known as Pram Pram, Dawenya. They say Moba here, the other they say Moba here. So you have to consider these two. That's why we say here or. Okay, get it. Okay, get it. Now, uh, I'll be touching on the Bukuna dialect as well in this lesson. So just know that Dangbe is in about three or four dialects. The Bukuna dialect, the Adan dialect, the Shai Osudoku dialects, the Kloden and the Nubu dialects. So about five dialects. And these five dialects, they are closely with it, almost the same, but there are some minor, minor variations. So as we go in, I will just touch on them. So how do you say go in Dangbe? Go is moho, moho. So that is one way of saying go. Or moya. This is also another way. So you can say moho or moya. Now you can just ignore the mo and just say ho or ya. So when you take the mo, the mo away. Now most mostly it just says you say moya. That is just the with the mo form. When you take the mo away and just want to use the don't say ya, yeah, you say ya. Yeah. Okay, get it. So now there, how do you say there in Dangwe? That is legend or legend. So legend, legend, you shall legend, 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 legend. But then in Bukbuna we say legend. Legend. So maybe Moho legend. That's Bukbuna. Moho legend. Or Moho legend. Moho legend. So there is legend. Legend or legend. Legend is specific to the Bukbuna people. Legend. Moho legend. Okay, you get it. So maybe come there, mobile legend, 
or mobile agent or mobile job. So mobile job. Now, how do you say pass in Dambi? Now, pass is either be or mobi. Be or mobi. So those who don't use the mo, they will say be. But those who use the mo, they will say mobi. So you get it. When you're not using the mo, it shortens. But when, 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 when are you using the when you see the more it's short, but when you see the more it's the vowel lengthens for the actual verb. Now I forgot to teach you this. Here also, aside here, you can also say hemino. Hemino. You know, hemenel. So you can also say moba hemino. Moba hemino. Okay. Let's also say moba hemino. So, how do you say look or see in Dangui? That is here, here. So, see, you can say more here or here in that ways. More here or here. More here, here. Look here. More here, here. Or here, here. Hear me now. Look here. Hear the John. Or hear the German. Or hear the gem based on the dialect you are okay with. Well, I don't speak with blah. Okay, so I will use the pro dialect. Hear a job. But then, that I know there will be popular people watching. They just switch to dialect. Hear the gem. More hear the gem. So now, let's know how to say come and pass. That is more baby. Mo Babi or Babi Babi. Come here, pass here. Babi here. Babi here. Or look here. Mo here here. Mo here here. Or Mo here the gem or Mo here the jump. Mo here the gem or Mo here the jump. Based on the dialect you feel you want to use. Mo here the jump. Listen how to say collect in Dango. That is mohe. Mohe or he. So you can just say he or mohe. Mohe or so. Come and, 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 and collect. Moba. Now there's a twist here. Gang can just simplify it by he. But now Dango there's some twist. So either you say moba ne oba he. Or mahe. Mahe is simply come and collect. Or moba come and come and collect. Moba ne obahe. So it's either you say moba ne obahe or mahe. That is come and collect. Moba hemin or nobahe. Moba hemin or nobahe. Moya legend oyahe. Moya leje or moho leje ne oyahe or moho lejo ne oyahe based on the dialect you want to. That way is very dialect. So now we are going. We are now going to fix our sentence on just one dialect from this point. Okay, I'm just going to base on just one dialect. I'm not going to twist them. I don't want to be scattered. So now moho lejo ne oyahe. Let's base on that. Now let's learn how to say thin in Dangbe. When it is single, we say no. No. When it's prayer, we say ni. Ni. So ni is things. So mahe no. Come and collect something. No. Cause in this case, mahe no. The no will just as something. Even though most of it is just thin. But in this case, mahe no. Come and collect something. Or mobane obahe no. Come and collect something. Mobane obahe no. So now let's not say I'm coming. I'm coming is Ima. Ima. And I'm going is Iya. Iya. Or Ingeji. Ingeji. Ingeji is more like I'm leaving. So you want to tell someone, oh, Nene, Ingeji. Nene, I'm going. Or then I'm leaving. Nene, Ingeji. 
Okay, you want to tell someone I'm partying with? Or maybe I'm partying with you and cross something from that. In a jane, in your head, no, nega, maba, I'm leaving to go buy something at a credit. In 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 a jane, in your head, no, nega, maba, I'm leaving a good person. Or in your ne, in your head, no, nega, maba. Yeah, that makes it a bit complicated. It's a bit more complicated than that, trust me. But you just have to. Okay. So let's know how to say, how are you in that way? That is, keji le ken. But then we hear most of our dad people say, keji le ken. You know, in the Adan dialects, they have the, they the, the, like the L, just as the L people do, because L will laugh like, Nula, the thing. The error will just elide the L and just say Nua. Okay. So that L addition has sink into the other line. So instead of Keji Leke, they'll say Keji Eke. So when you hear someone say Keji Eke, Keji Eke, it's usually the other variants that they elide the, the L, but then the actual one should be Keji Leke. How is it? Keji Leke, they say Inge Saminya. Kaji leke inge saminya or wahiemi, wahiemi, wahiemi is like we are hanging on or we are managing wahiemi. Okay. Now, now let's learn how to say I in Nagi. I is e, e, but then me is ami or imi. Imi is northern Nagi and then ami is southern Nagi. So imi or ami. Based on the dialect you are comfortable with. So, not the language is showing the clue dialect. Imi or Ami. Now, you, the subject form is O, but the object form is Mo. Mo. So, Oma, you are coming. In this case, the O is subject. Oma, you are coming. But, Manamu. That mo ending there is object. Okay, so we have o as subject and then mo as object. So when I construct a sentence, whenever I, whenever the you is doing the action, we use o. But when the you is going to receive the action, see so the receiving, then we use mo. We will delve deeper into that, but this is just the intro. But this are this is technically that that maybe is one. There's that maybe is two already. This is three. So you just be climbing and then you are good to go. So now let's know how to say take in language. Now take is ngo or wo. But then I see shall mo ngo or mo wo. Okay, mo wo. Sometimes yes, you hear some people say mo wo. What are they saying? Mo ngo or mo wo or mo wo in that way. Okay, so maybe take the thing. Mo ngono, mo ngono or ngono, take a thing, take a thing. Ngono or mo ngono or mo ngono. You can just choose to like. If you choose to like the mo ngono or mo ngono, that is it. Sometimes take. Take. It's not that we use collect also take. So you can also say mohi for take. But when you are taking the the object from the ground, it's either mo or ngo or wo. That is it. Hope you are getting it. So let's take an example. I'm going is iya. C is what here so yeah here no can you guess the meaning yeah here no yes i'm going to see something yeah here no yeah here no i'm going to buy something or i'm going to collect something yeah here no hope you get it yeah i'm going to take something or yeah i'm going to take something or yeah i want me 
I'm going to take this. Hope you get it. So I'm going to do our last word for today. That is mochu or mochumi. Mochumi. But I usually say mochu, mochu, mochu. Okay, mochu. Usually we just like the e ending. Mochu. Mochu means thank you. Also, you can say openo. Openo can also mean thank you or well done. But then we have is mochu. So without much, I say nyechumi. And do not forget to share this lesson because many people wish to learn them, but they don't know where to start from. So if you are seeing this, do help me to share with everyone. Every dangbe aspirant, anyone willing to learn dangbe, do want to share. And also, I have my book, No Ghana Better, where I documented the entire history of Ghana. The Gadangbe's, the Akans, the Ewe's, the Ghana Togo mountain language speakers, the ones, the gurus, guru man, gurus, I documented, I took every time, one by one, I documented all the histories. There are over 79 languages speaking in Ghana, all the communities speaking this language, I documented all their histories. There are towns, what they do, everything is in the book, no Ghana better. If you wish to have a copy, just contact me through the description box or through my email as embedded on this channel. And let's pick it up from there. So without much I say, nye chumyo, nye heko jinoka, wa mak pale ba hiyo. Go, go.